On Tuesday, 14th of August, a bridge carrying the main highway from France to Italy collapsed onto the city of Genoa. Over 30 people died when cars and trucks fell from the Morandi Bridge onto the houses of the city lying below. I can't answer why this bridge collapsed. But there are some clues to what made this disaster happen. Europe is a world leader in engineering. They especially have pioneered new construction techniques in bridge design. The architect's and engineer's job is to carry us safely over the numerous deep valleys and mountains in southern Europe. Stylish, amazing bridges are all over the region. Italy and France pride themselves on building both beautiful and functional structures. In the boom years of the 1960s, the Genoa A80 bridge was a wonder of design and construction. Here is some rare footage of it being built over 40 years ago. The architect Riccardo Morandi completed the bridge in 1967. He used an innovative pre-stressed concrete design using single point cable stay anchors. More recent cable stay bridges use multiple anchor points to hold up the road deck all along the span. In recent years, Italy has suffered badly from an economic recession. Infrastructure maintenance has no doubt suffered. It seems ironic for a nation that is credited with the invention of concrete nearly 2,000 years ago, that so many of its modern structures are not doing so well. All too often today, we see partially failing concrete, exposing reinforcing rods and surface spalling. Also, an increase in heavy traffic far exceeding the original projected numbers, stresses all the bridges to a new level of load. I am no bridge expert, and my heart weeps at the loss of life that fateful day. For me, the areas of interest the collapse investigators need to look at are why there was such a clean collapse at this expansion joint? What work was being done on the central pillar foundations near the river? A possible lightning strike? And most of all, they need to look at the history of all maintenance to repair damaged concrete. All I do know is this should not have happened and every country needs to invest in its critical infrastructure to keep us all safe. As taxpayers and citizens we demand that this work is carried out. The truth is out there. <laughs>